The next 30 minutes may be the most important 30 minutes of your entire career. These next 30 minutes may be the most for the people that I'm hoping to reach, whether you're online or in this room, the next 30 minutes are the most important. I want you to take serious notes and I want you to understand what I'm about to share with you because it can change your entire career. Everything can change for you this year. Everything can change for you this year. I will tell you, what I've learned is slow growth. People say slow and steady wins the race. It is not true. It is not true. In our business, there's a burst of energy, and then maintenance, and then another burst of energy, and then maintenance, and then another burst of energy that gets you to where you need to go. See, if this here is the airport and the runway, and we have a little airplane here, It's an old one with a propeller. Okay, and you're in there, you know. Any pilots in the room? We have some pilots. Right here, what's your name again? Steve. So Steve's a pilot. We're on the runway. We're ready to take off. We're in our business. That, that plane is our business. We're ready to go. You ready? and we put it to 20% throttle. Let's go. Are we going to get off the ground at all? Hmm. All right. Fair enough. 40% throttle. That's double. No? Not going to get off the ground? 60%? Yes? At 60? Any pilots in the room say you can get off the ground at 60? Can't, right? 70? 80? 90? 95? 100%, right? Full throttle. You put the pedal down, boom! And you get off the ground. It takes you to an elevation. Now, do you have to stay at full throttle for the entire trip? If you're at full throttle and we take off from Las Vegas and we're going to New York, and we're full throttle to take off, if we keep it at full throttle, how far are we going to get? We're not going to make it to New York. We're going to burn through all that fuel and we're going to have a problem. See, if you don't go full throttle, all you have to look forward to is trees at the end of the runway. That slow and steady wins the race. I'm just going to go slow and steady. I'm just going to slow and steady. I'm just going to, if I recruit one a month, and if everybody in my group recruits one a month, and that's going to be 1,000 people at the end of the first year. And <laughs> I guess network marketing doesn't work. Slow and steady does not win the race. It's just like flying. you got to get to an altitude. you got to get to an altitude. And that is what I call the 90-day game plan. The 90-day game plan will change your life. People underestimate, overestimate what they can do in a week or a month, and they underestimate that what, the, what can be done in 90 days. 90 days can change everything. I'm living proof, and I have examples of living proof of what 90 days can do to change everything. In 1992, I was... Um, the most I'd ever made in network marketing was about a little under $200,000. And I'm spending every penny, and I'm hustling, and I'm struggling, and I'm trying. And I'll tell you, if you're making $100,000 a year in network marketing, that's just enough money to be miserable. You pay your taxes, you, you try and drive your business, and you know you got this little job. It's no fun at 100. It's better to have a hobby at 20 than a full-time 100. I'm telling you, um, I don't want to scare you by saying that, but I'm just telling you, those of you, once you get to 100, you know what I'm talking about. It's no fun. You're like, oh, i got to break out, i got to break out. I'm seeing these other people, they're flying past me. What do i got to do? And I was with a company that had hit a wall. It was a company called NSA. They had water filters and air filters, and, and uh, their company was going through a lot of drama, and they hadn't switched. They switched to Juice Plus, 
later. They became a nutritional company, and they're, they're very successful still today. But they hadn't done that at that time. So full-timers like me were desperate. And I joined another company in September of 1992. And I decided that I was going to engage in a 90-day burst of activity like I'd never worked in my life. Now, understand, I'm a guy who's kind of struggling, you know, making 100 to 200. And in my first 12 months, my 1099 was $980,000. In my first 12 months. I'm the same guy with the same skills, same ability, same influence, same contacts. And I went from struggling to $980,000 in one year. One year. You know what made that happen? A 90-day burst, a 90-day game plan. It all happened from 90 days. Another gentleman that was involved with me at that time, his name's Art. And Art drove, we had an event that we started with that company. He drove from Boston to Chicago. Had no money, broke. Never made more than a couple thousand dollars in network marketing, never in his life. And he said, I'll do whatever I need to do. Tell me what I need to do. And we sat down with him, and never forget, we sat in this lounge and we said, oh, you know, let's create a 90-day game plan for you to be able to change your life. You know, we told him, the only thing between you and being a millionaire is putting a thousand people in the room in Boston 90 days from today in your downline. He said, really? I said, really? Can you show me how? Yes, I can show you how. I can be a millionaire from the efforts that I do in the next 90 days. And it's learnable. Yes. Well, Art did that. He went back. And he followed instructions. He quit two weeks later. And then we had to talk him back into it. Yeah. Seriously. And 90 days later, he didn't have 1,000 people in the room, but he had about 700 in the room, 90 days later, from nothing, with no money. We taught him exactly how to do it, step by step, the total game plan, the total blueprint, how to build towards it, how to do it, and how to come out of it. Today, Art makes about $5 million a year, number one in his company, about $5 million a year, over $400,000 every month. He was broke, no money, had to drive from Boston to Chicago, and then back again quit two or three times during his 90-day game plan, pulled it off, and that started a career for him. Brian Carruthers is another example. Brian Carruthers was with my company, TPN, and Brian had never made more than $2,000 in a month with my company. And when my company sold to prepaid legal services, who's now become Legal Shield. When my company sold, Brian, there's people moaning and crying and upset and freaked out and we'll see and all that stuff. And Brian said, you know what? This is my window. This is my opportunity. I'm going to attack this like I've never attacked anything in my life. Another gentleman at the, at, at the same time that he works with today and top earner, his name is Darnell Self, one of the best leaders in network marketing. Um, decided at the same time, you know what, that was going to be his future. Pr prior to that, what did what the most Darnell ever made? $400 a month. And where did he, he worked retail or something? He worked in a retail store at a mall? Darnell Self, one of the most powerhouse guys in the profession. But what those guys decided to do while everybody else was crying and whining and wondering, and you know, this is a big transition, you know, transitioning one company into another network marketing company is huge. They decided to put together a 90-day game plan, and they put it together like you've never seen in your life. And they worked so hard. I'm going to teach you some of the things that they did. They worked so hard, so focused, at 100% throttle to get off the ground and get it going. Brian, I never made more than $2,000 in a month. What was your first month's check? 11. What was, you know, what was it after six months? 24. What was it after 12 months? 42, how much could you go back and point to of your 14 million that you've earned since that time? How much could you go back and point to your first 90 days? Almost all of it. So how much did you get paid per hour for your first 90 days? 
Figure that out for a second. Let's just do the math for a second. You got 40 hours in a week. You've got 90 days. Uh, that's going to be about, what, 12 weeks? 12 times 40 is how much? 480? 480 weeks? 480 hours? Somebody pull out a calculator, take 14 million divided by 480 hours. How much? $29,000 an hour and running. It's still growing. You understand what I'm saying? The 90 days is everything. He's maintained, he's grown, he's trained, he's supported, he's done all that stuff. And how many 90 day game plans have you done since then? About, well, you haven't done one every 90 days. But would you say probably averaged about one a year of pure 90 day hardcore focus in between supporting and doing everything else? Yeah, very in intensity. But did anything ever touch the intensity of the first 90? No. That got him off the ground. Got him to a level. Put him on a path. Changed his whole life. Darnell's earned how much? Eight million? During the same period of time? How much of that eight million could he point to the first 90 days? Almost all of it. Isn't that something? Myself, 2005, I was in a tough spot. I had my financial world got rocked. I invested with a company about nine and a half million dollars into a, into a traditional personal development company, a media company that didn't work. Fired myself. Came back to the network marketing profession as a builder. And I decided that I had to work like my life hung in the balance. My first 90 days, I hit it hard, 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 hard. I'm going to show you what that looked like. But I made $7 million in the next six years in commissions. Almost all of it I could point to the first 90 days. So it's not the first 90 days when you're starting something. It's any 90-day period you choose. Stay right where you're at, draw a new line, and pick a 90-day blast and go full throttle right here. This 90-day burst is everything. Now, slow and steady does not win the race. 90 days can totally change your life. Here's what it's like. One hundred percent sold out for 90 days. You know what? You can't maintain this intensity just like you can't keep full throttle for forever. You'll burn yourself out but you can do anything for 90 days. Here's what I did. I decided, if you're, how many people are full-time? All right, how many part-time? All right, if it's, if it's full-time, let me show you what it looks like. It starts for me at 8 a.m. every day, and it finishes at midnight every day for 90 days. I took Sundays off. That was it kind of, during the 90 days. But it was 16 hours a day. You know what I learned about a 16 hour day? Nobody does it. Everybody talks about one 16 hour day they did one time. And they just brag about it like crazy. But try 16 hours a day for 90 days. You are lonely a lot. You are pounding it a lot. What it looks like is total sellout. What it looks like is 100 phone calls a day. What it looks like is getting face to face with 10 people a day. What it looks like is doing uh, recruiting conference calls and webinars six, eight times every day. What it looks like is putting together your leadership team and getting that leadership team excited about <clears throat> your vision and your intensity and the focus of your goal because you're good pushing towards a big event. One of the things that I coached Darnell on is that he needed to put together an event and he needed to build his team towards an event. He really needed to do that to go to the next level. What happened, Brian, after he did that? Explosion, right? How many people does he have at his events now? 4,000? Does these huge events? Builds? Meetings make money, right? 
<clears throat> so what I did in 2005, I, set to, I, I put uh, an event in place, one, one event in place, and the company had their convention. The event was 60 days after I launched. And I told everybody, the event was in Chicago, get to Chicago, get to Chicago, future's in Chicago, the training's in Chicago, your life is in Chicago, you, you, planes, trains, automobiles, you can't miss it. Put a team together, promote, 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 and in 60 days we had, I don't know, 350, 400 people. Flew in, drew, drove in to Chicago. And 60 days after that we had, I don't know, over 1,000 people at the convention in our group from a standing start four months later. Turned it into seven million. Okay? So total focus. Hitting it from every angle. You know what you have to do to do this? I'm only talking to the serious people here now. If you want to change your life in 2012 and be able to look forward 10 years from now and point back to a 90-day period in 2012 where you changed everything. You went from being average to extraordinary. You went from being invisible to being known. You went from being a distributor to being a rock star. Right? That's what I want for you. But what you have to do in order to do this is you've got to clear the slate. You've got to talk to everybody that's important in your family. You've got to pick your 90-day period of time. You've got to say, look, what I had to do is negotiate with my family and say, you know, look, I'm going to be gone for 90 days. It's literally like I'm going to be deployed overseas for 90 days. I'm still going to be in the house, but I'm not going to be here. And I need you to love me, and I need you to know this, and I need you to appreciate it, and I need you to support it. But I'm going to hit it hard. I'm going to go hard. I'm going to be making phone calls all the time. It doesn't mean I don't love you. I'm going to be hitting it hard for you, for our family, for our future. I'm not going to let you know, keep us crawling by. In 90 days, we can have everything. We can go to Disneyland as many times as we want after 90 days from now. We'll still work hard, but we don't have to do this 90 days for forever. They need to know that there's an end to it. That you're going to do it for these three months and then you're going to plug back in and then you're going to make it look like you're still doing that but you're going to be supporting your team and training and nurturing and the different things that you do in your team. If you're part-time, let me tell you what it looks like. It's harder for you, but it's worth it. You need to go do your job and then you need to go home and do another eight hours. Clear the decks. Get a sitter. Talk to the spouse. You don't, there is no movies, there is no television, there is no recreation, there's just total sold out focus. How much did you sleep in that first 90 days, Brian? Not a lot. Huh? About half of what you do now. On, a, on an average night, how much did you sleep? Five hours. And of, of the other 19 hours, how much of that was devoted white hot to building? two 30-minute meals, and the rest of it was building. That's what it takes. If you really want a, you know, a rock star future, I'm talking to the people in this room that want this. That say, you know what, I'm tired of messing around. I'm tired of crawling. I'm tired of limping along. I'm tired of people in my upline saying, you're not worth anything, or even just inferring it by how they look at me and they, how, they, how they talk to me. I'm tired of my family saying, are you ever going to do anything with this thing? Are you just going to mess around and waste everybody's time? I'm tired of crawling through life. I will sell out for 90 days in order to be able to get where I want to go for the rest of my life. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm in. I'm going to go hard. Okay? That's what it takes. I'm being as honest as I can be with you here today. So, a couple things. Put together an event. About 90 days after you start your launch, put together an event. And decide how many people you're going to put in the room when you start. Is it going to be 500? Is it going to be 1,000? Don't even start this process if you're going to say, oh, I want 50. I mean, come on. So put together an event. You've got to name this event. You've got to come up with a campaign around this event. You've got to be a promoter of this event. You've got to put together promotion teams for this event. If you have 10 people on your team, could you get 10 people and say, look, your life 
your job is around getting 100 tickets sold for this event, and you are responsible for putting 100 people in the room. I'm responsible for 100. You're responsible for 100. You're responsible for 100. Can you do it, yes or no? We'll do the webinars. We'll do the calls. We'll do the, we'll do the three-way calls. We'll do the promotion. We'll print the tickets. We'll do the flyers. We'll do everything. But if you put 1,000 people, if we together as a group put 1,000 people in the room 90 days from, t from today, it's over. Life changes. Are you in or are you out? And then you've got to drive that team on a weekly basis. You've got to grow that team on a weekly basis. You've got to recruit more people into that team on a weekly basis to be able to go towards that event to make it a success. You've got to, put to you know, invite superstars to your event. You've got to call the CEO of the company and say, hey, if I put 1,000 people in the room, will you be there? You've got to call the top earners and say, you know, look, if I put 500 people in the room, will you be there? I want to change my life. I'm going to do it. I've got a team. I've got the campaign. Here's the ticket. All right, will you come? And you put together an all-star lineup for that event and blow their minds. See what I'm saying? You feeling me? Is any of this stuff impossible for you to do so far? It's not. It's not. Don't have time to debate it, but I'm, I, I challenge you. It's not. So there's three phases. There are very important phases to this. You're going to be doing all these different things. And I've coached hundreds of people on doing this to change their life over the course of 24 years. Personally, in my groups, different things, changed everything. There's three phases. Phase one is your 90 days leading up to the event. Phase two, and there's ways to do that right and wrong. You can get people into the room, but if you don't do it right and you're not building your team as you're doing it, you're not going to get the full results. Phase two is the event. And phase three is post-event. Because a lot of people will do the event and then all the, the air goes out of the balloon and they don't have the traction that they need because then they go to phase four is the next event. And repeat. See, here's the thing. If you put, let's say you put 500 people in a room 90 days after your launch. Guess what you have to do at that launch? Not promote this next one. Sell the next one out. Get everybody in the room to get 10 or 20 tickets for the next one that's going to be 90 days after that. And, and challenge them to fill those, those tickets with bodies. At whatever price you want, 5 bucks a ticket, 10 bucks a ticket, doesn't matter. But have a volume discount to be able to do that. Now they're all focused and engaged in a, another 12-week campaign to fill up the next one. You know, guess what this requires? A leader. Somebody who says, we're going to make it so. Right? So all of these phases are important. 